All right, I'm sure you've heard it over and over again from your doctor, even your friends. Sugar is poison. You've got to get it out of your diet. Uh, but it's hidden in almost everything we eat, right? Yeah. And it becomes so addictive. And I've got to say, you just crave it, right? Just, I just crave I it. I definitely oh. crave it after every meal. I have to have something sweet. So the million dollar question is how do we get over the sugar cravings? Well, one solution <laughs> comes from a man who has trained some of the biggest stars in the world, including Kanye and the Kardashians. Ah, he's the one, mm. the only, mm. Harley <laughs> Pasternak. Welcome to California Live. That sounded very Halloween-y. Like, <laughs> yeah. That was a ghost. We're getting in the spirit. The ghost of sugar, right? All right yeah, yes. well, you've got to help us. Because I'm just curious about so this. So I, I grew up in a household where I was the only child who was not born with diabetes. Wow. Mm. And so sugar was forbidden basically growing up. Mm. And as a result, anything that you're not allowed to have, you want to eat. became even obsessed even with. More. <laughs> yes. So, um, you know, I would rather have a thing of candy than a meal when I was a kid sometimes, but I would do it on the low. As I grew up and as I went to university for 10 years to study nutritional sciences and weight loss and wrote weight loss books, secretly I was still doing the craziest sugar stuff ever. Mm. And it hit a point a few years ago where I go to this place every day for coffee three times a day. And then I looked at my credit card bill and I realized I was buying three chocolate chip cookies a day. <gasps> what? This is, this is not good. So, so you were excessively eating sugar. Oh, excessively eating yeah. sugar. And okay. a lot of my clients, they're, they're great working out and they'll eat all the healthy foods, but even they get self-sabotaged by sugar in foods that they don't even expect there to be mm. sugar in whether it be ketchup, granola, juice, all these ways we're getting sugar. You know, mm -hmm. people are having a grilled chicken breast, but barbecue sauce on it. Yeah. And that has more yeah. sugar than yeah. a candy often. So, yeah. uh, and I want to just give you an idea. So this is the amount of sugar that the average American is supposed to take in per day. This per is, day. This is what we're supposed yeah. to. This is, I think, what some people put in their coffee. Oh, oh easy, gosh. right? <laughs> this is how much we're actually taking in per day. Wow. So how bad in, is that for you? So number one, uh, it affects insulin sensitivity, uh, diabetes, heart disease, certain cancers, obesity, I mean, everything bad. Parkinson's, believe it or not, there's a relationship wow. with dementia and sugar. This is not good, this is bad. Better if we eat more fat and less sugar. So this, mm -hmm. is, this is what Americans are actually having per day. Now, this is what Americans are actually having per month in sugar. Oh my this, goodness. this, oh my gosh. hold on, it gets better. Oh God, there's this, more. <laughs> this, hold on. And in one month, this okay, this okay. is what we're actually having per month in sugar. And this is sugar that you know you're eating, or that you just maybe don't know, like in the ketchups or the barbecue sauce. It's sauces, a com all the sauces. It's a combination of okay. both. It's a combination of the, wow. of the dessert, and it's a combination of the other hidden sugars that people are eating. So it's it's a problem. And so I sat back and said, how do I deal with this for me? First mm -hmm. of all, for me. Okay. And so I created. At first, it was a bunch of eyedroppers on my tongue, but then I created a mint. <laughs> that tasted disgusting, but it worked. It got the job done. So okay. when I'd go for coffee, I'd pop the mint beforehand, and I'd go there, I'd get my coffee, I'd still buy the cookie, <laughs> take a bite of the cookie, uh -huh. and the cookie wasn't worth eating. It was gross to me because I couldn't taste oh. the sugar. Okay. So then I would leave, and this worked for me, started using with clients, worked on flavor for two years, mm -hmm. and we have today's Sweet Kick, which we launched uh, with Khloe Kardashian's Revenge Body, mm -hmm. and within 90 minutes, we nearly sold out across the whole country. Wow. It's been incredible. Um, we have some really big names that are partners of ours. You know, Adam Levine is one of our partners. Um, and it's, it's been great. It's been helping people. It's about changing your behaviors mm -hmm. to help you take back control of an addiction. Okay. To help you make better decisions. And as a byproduct, we're getting inundated with people on Instagram. A woman yesterday said, I'm 10 days in. I've lost 10 pounds. And I didn't even do that. I didn't even okay. do this week for wow. that. Okay, you gave us okay. the mint. Yeah. I gave that you the mint. Yes. Yeah. We, okay. we took the mint. We had it. I have to admit, I thought it was not yummy. It was bitter. Yeah. She it, didn't. Yeah, it was it fine. Didn't it wasn't bitter So you're so used to the, the sweet palate. Yeah. So it's very interesting. So here we have an unnamed cola. Okay. okay. So I want you to just, just take a sip of the cola for a second. Okay. Actually, okay. or Let's even better. Before, before we do that, drink. before we do that, I'm going to just put your palms out. Okay? okay. So just one palm like this. And I'm going to take a little bit of sugar and I'm mm -hmm. just going to sprinkle it in your palm. Okay? okay. So, so I want you to so lick what that. Do, so what can we, what can we, oh, we can taste this right here. I want you okay. to lick it. It's All pure right. sugar. That's the sweetest thing you can possibly eat. It is not sweet. This tastes like sand. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> it, that's it. it really tastes like sand. Like and so I'm you, eating sand. And you, so you said it takes 14 days. So this right? is part of a 14 day 
uh, sweet kick reset. Right. And what, what you have on the 14 day sweet kick reset is you've got the sugar control mints, which you have after each meal. You just pop them in. It doesn't okay. take any time out of your day. Wow. And we tend to eat sugar between meals. And in the morning, 60% of Americans get all of their daily allowance for sugar by 10 a.m. It's because we haven't eaten in 12 hours, mm -hmm. right? Wow. So this is a packet. This is the body balance powder. You put oh. it in your water in the morning in your coffee, and it's fiber with a few multivitamins to help with insulin support. Right, so, so it helps stabilize the blood sugar. So what do you okay, want us to so try? We have a few yeah. seconds. Have a sip so of the cola. Have, Each of you have a, do this have a little exactly sip of the cola. I exactly what this tastes like. Okay. It's a gummy bear. They found them in my desk. Yes. Uh, go ahead and eat it. And Not it tastes at all. like I'm eating rubber. Rubber. Yeah. Well, rubber. thank you so much, yeah. Thanks this for is, having us. Wow. You can go to sweetkick.com. Can't taste the sugar. No. I mean, it's not enjoyable We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.